dear human family. In this ever-changing world, our idea of success and fulfillment is already going through a major refresh. Welcome to the Meaning Economy, where the quest for purpose, significance, and a pure natural flow is taking the stage like a divine dance front and center. Let's dive into what makes the meaning economy hum harmoniously and why we are embracing the shift away from lack, fear, and greed towards more purpose-driven professional and personal lives. The traditional consumer economy, where success was all about money, owning, having, bragging, corporate climbing, and one-upping, is definitely on its way out. Bye-bye, chaotic hustle culture. The rat race is slowing down because we are tired of experiencing emptiness, fear, despair, exhaustion, ridiculous burnout, and the all-encompassing feeling of not-enoughness. We are evolving out of it. We are now focusing on what really matters. Purpose, connection, and impact. We're not just chasing a paycheck anymore. We're awakening and craving work that aligns with our values, our spirit essence, and that which makes a more qualitative personal life and positive mark on the world around us. Why shift to meaning economy? Fulfillment over finances. Forget fat paychecks. We're all about job satisfaction and personal growth now. Companies that care about their employees' well-being and meaningful work are the real winners in the meaning economy. Social impact and corporate responsibility. Businesses are waking up to the importance of doing good and being positive change makers. Consumers are loving companies that make a positive impact on society. It's not just a trend. It's a shift in how companies think and act with nourishing sustainability. Embracing diversity and inclusion. In the meaning economy, diversity and inclusion aren't just trendy terms. They're the secret source for a successful workplace. Companies that celebrate different perspectives and create inclusive environments are the ones thriving. Entrepreneurship with a purpose. Entrepreneurs are turning their businesses into forces for good. Whether it's a startup or a big corporation, the cool ones are aligning their missions with the needs of society, making a difference while raking in success. Let shift happen within us. As we ride the growing waves of the meaning economy, it's time to get on board and evolve with the mindset and practices that make it work. Here are a few tips for both individuals and organizations to rock this new way of doing things. Define your purpose. Take a moment to figure out what really matters to you, both personally and professionally. Look for opportunities that match your values and contribute meaningfully to your life and the world. This takes time, so create the space and put it in your daily calendar as a priority. Cultivate a purpose-driven culture. Companies, listen up. Create a culture that's all about purpose. Make sure your employees know their work has a real impact. Align your company values with social responsibility to build a positive and kick-ass and kind workplace. Your success is only as good as the vibe of your employees. Continuous learning and adaptation. Stay in the know about what's happening in the meaning economy. Keep learning and adapting to make relevant and meaningful contributions to your industry. Lifelong learning is the new normal. And the meaning economy is already a prosperous part of the human experience worldwide, and it's growing fast. The time to jump on the shift train is now. Whether you're an individual on a quest for purpose or a business leader steering your ship through uncharted waters, remember that the journey toward meaning is transformative. Clear your mind and be pulled by your inner flow. Let's all be part of making shift happen and usher in an era where success isn't just about money, but about the positive impact we create in the world, our future generations, and the quality we bring into our personal lives. Term of the day, not enoughness. The concept of 
not-enoughness refers to the feeling or belief that one is inadequate or lacking in some way. It's a subjective perception that one's abilities, possessions, achievements, or even personal qualities fall short of an internal or external standard. This sense of not being enough can manifest in various aspects of life, such as not feeling smart enough, successful enough, attractive enough, or worthy enough. It often leads to feelings of insecurity, self-doubt, and a constant striving for more, driven by a perceived deficiency. It is an unhelpful thought formation, a construct, a fiction. Notice how others are projecting this strategy upon you. They may not realize they are doing it because they are also living in not-enoughness too. Addressing feelings of not-enoughness involves cultivating conscious self-awareness, self-compassion, and understanding the root causes of these beliefs. Recognizing and challenging negative self-talk, setting realistic expectations, and practicing gratitude can be steps towards overcoming the pervasive sense of not-enoughness. Seek support and wisdom from friends, family, carefully selected mental health guides, books, workshops, courses, and other learning tools can provide valuable perspectives and nurturing strategies to navigate these feelings. Be your own guru with love. If a little is not enough, then nothing is. Zen Master, Thich Nhat Han. Life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. John Lennon. Train your mind to recognize reality beyond appearances. Welcome to the warm, sunny beach of the meaning economy. Thank you for listening today to the Whispers of Wisdom podcast brought to you by worldwisdomwell.com, exploring and realizing the limitless potential of humanity through the evolving energies of collective experiences, lifelong learning, profound insights, rigorous research, and dedicated daily practice.